Richard Branson is one of the most well-known entrepreneurs of the 21st century. He has built a multi-billion dollar business empire with over 400 different businesses around the globe. Yet, Richard is dyslexic and struggled at school. He says he often felt stupid when he was growing up. At seven and a half, he was sent away to English boarding school and over the years was beaten regularly by the headmaster, sometimes until he bled for his school learning difficulties. He recalls school being a brutal experience and feeling hopeless. He started his first business venture whilst he was still at school. It was a student business magazine with paid advertising. It was doing so well, the school principal gave him an ultimatum of completing school or running the magazine. So after convincing his parents it was a good idea on a walk around the garden, he left school at the age of 15. He said his mum also dabbled in entrepreneurial opportunities, which also rubbed off on him. Richard then went on to start up and run many successful companies, including Virgin Records, Virgin Trains, Virgin Airlines, and more recently, Virgin Galactic. He said to compensate for his learning difficulties, he would just ask people for their help or delegate the tasks he was not good at to people who were better than him. He says a lot of dyslexics are good at dealing with people, motivating people and inspiring them. They shouldn't let the things they are bad at get them down. In business, you need to realize if you can add, subtract and multiply, that's all you need to know. And even if you can't do that, you'll find someone who can. Branson ended up buying the largest group of European companies. And it wasn't until he was 50 years old, he understood the difference between gross and net. His financial advisor took him aside and pulled out a piece of paper, drew a picture of the ocean, put a fishing net in it and said, the fish in your net is your net profit and the ocean represents your turnover. By showing him in that simple way, he finally grasped it. He says one of the greatest things about being dyslexic is that it has helped him when marketing any of his companies. I always need to simplify things and I think by doing this, many more people understand and connect with what we are saying. Simple and transparent is what our companies try to be and I think this has helped with our success. Today, Virgin employs around 90,000 people around the world. In 2018, they had the biggest group of private companies in Europe. He now treasures his dyslexia as a gift, a way of thinking differently and a secret superpower. He says to concentrate on things you are good at and excel at those. Dyslexia is something to treasure and celebrate. The world needs more dyslexic thinking.